an absolute pleasure to be joined today in studio in the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave by Eastern Michigan's finest head coach Chris Creighton and athletic director Heather Light. Guys, thanks so much for being here. What an exciting time to be an Eagle. The football team's off to an unbelievable start, 4-1. and one. Coach, you got these guys believing. They are. They are. It's been a lot of fun. I think that's a, a great word to use. Um, I, to be honest with you, I think we believed even these last two years, uh, knew that we weren't going to just snap our fingers and that everything was going to be uh, perfect and hunky-dory. Uh, and I'm not saying that it is now, um, but I do think that it is some of the fruition of our belief in doing the necessary things um, the last two years to get to a point where we're competitive. Coach, uh, excuse me, Heather, you had come and made some significant changes to the athletic department to make football more prominent. And I think you got to be sitting back sometimes and being, hey, this is, this is, I, the, it's nice to see the vision become somewhat of a reality and it's not done yet, but, but it's on the right path. Yeah, no question, Justin. I, you know, I, we talk about a winning culture and winning teams and your culture is made up of people. And so you got to have the right leaders in place. And uh, coach won't tell the story, but when we, I interviewed him, and we were on the phone the first time. What he told me at the end of the conversation was, listen, I can teach kids to believe and then believe in something greater than themselves. And through that, we're going to win some football games. So, you know, he has a very strong conviction in why he's doing what he's doing. And the kids have really bought in there. It's an unbelievable group of kids, strong leadership at the top with the senior class. And it's been fun to watch. The Mac has been fun to watch, quite frankly. I mean, across the, the whole league, it's been fantastic. A lot of upsets. Western's doing their thing. Central did their thing against Oklahoma State. You guys are doing your thing. The Mac. You, you're loving the Mac, aren't you, Coach? I am. I, I really am. It's, uh, it's an honor to be a part of this league. The teams are so well coached. Um, they're hungry. You know, they are. People talk about a little bit of chip on the shoulder and – because they, each team believes in themselves and relishes the opportunity to prove people wrong. And so you just feel that, and there's a lot of pride in, in our conference. Eastern Michigan also making some headlines in a very positive way. We, we've seen countless, I don't like calling them protests because I think that has a negative connotation, but demonstrations of unity. That's, mm -hmm. that's what I'm going to mm -hmm. go with on mm -hmm. this one. Mm -hmm. But with some of the students uh, at Eastern Michigan, I, did any of your players participate in, in the, the, the march on the field, or were they uh, ushered off into... No, yeah, we, we sang the school fight song and we're in the locker room during that time. So, Heather, as an athletic director, you see kind of the, the murmur growing and you kind of had known an unfortunate incident happened on campus with some graffiti and some, um, some slurs that was absolutely unacceptable. Mm -hmm. But the student body came together in, I think, a positive way to demonstrate what, what they believed and how they wanted to make sure that everyone gets on the same page when it comes to social injustice. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, to have a peaceful demonstration, you know, with your university and leadership and administration all prepared and ready to handle it, um, I thought it went as well as we possibly could. Um, did not interrupt the game and it was a, not distraction for, for our team and players, but allowed them the opportunity to have a voice in, in an appropriate time and place. Coach, athletics often lends itself to those bigger issues be, just because of how ingrained it is into our society. As a head football coach, you have to address this with your team. I think you told us earlier that all the coaches got together and learned a little bit and kind of talked about that bond, but what's it like walking into that room with 18 to 21 year old kids and, and talking about significant things, significant issues that our country's facing. Yeah, you know, um, coaching is more than the X's and O's. And it, uh, you know, this is the time of life from 18 to 22 where they're away from however they've been raised. They own it or don't own it from 18 to 22. It's one of the, you know, the great things about coaching the college level is that who they're deciding they're going to become really, really can in some way starts at 18. And um, we had a great discussion. We really did. We really admire and respect our guys. Uh, there was intensity, um, but there was respect uh, and, and lots of learning. And in the end, uh, there was unity that comes from it. Mm -hmm. And I think you got something when, you know, you may have different views and perspectives, but the unity of the team and, and, and the love for each other and whatnot, um, you know, uh, doesn't get beat down, you know, in, in that process. Coach, congratulations. Get studying. Toledo, they're putting up 50-some points against BYU. So you got, uh, you got a little... Uh, they're a really good football team. A little, little bit of scouting to take care of. We appreciate <laughs> right. your time. Heather, thank you so much for coming in as well. As always, Eastern Michigan, get out there. Check them out. The special things are going on in Ipsy. So if you haven't been out to a game, why not now, right? Thanks. Maction, let's hit it.